go to sleep Let it fly Over your back Let them talk till they get tired They're gonna go to sleep Welcome back to Motherland Restaurant It's your girl Mastiatis And uh, today I'm gonna teach you some steps That you make when preparing fish And the ingredients that you're missing So the main thing about preparing fish Is preparation yeah? You have to first marinate the fish Before you even fry it one mistake that people make is uh, maybe putting too many spices. I only use two spices and they are natural spices from the ground. They have zero effect. In fact, they are good. I always have my ginger and garlic smashed and ready to cook the fish. Okay? So what I do first is just make sure that I marinate my fish with ginger and garlic this doesn't only help to remove any smell that could be bad <laughs> okay you guys know that fish uh, sometimes uh, even if you wash you know fish sometimes it's smells sometimes it has whatever but uh, if you just put ginger and garlic this is the very first step to successfully cooking fish. So this is how we prepare fish at Madeline restaurant. And then, always remember guys that you have to remove the gills, yeah? The gills are some of the sweetest parts. The head of the fish is the sweetest part of the fish. More than the body. So, uh, in the Luo community, we always say that if you want your kids to be bright, and to be number one, you have to give them fish head every day, okay? That's how come you see Orengo is a lawyer because he ate the fish head, you know? That's how come you see Raila is and then there are all the other people, you know, Kakua, Kuti, that's the big doctor. They come from Yanza because they are eating the fish head. So if you have little children and you are raising them up and you want them to be bright like people from the other side, you have to give them the fish head and the only way that you can get the fish head is if you remove the gills now you can see that I've already removed the gills and now I'm going to put a little ginger and garlic okay I'm going to put a little ginger and garlic even on the fish head the sweetest part if you come to my restaurant and you eat the fish and you leave the head trust me we're going to have a big fight so you have to make sure that you eat the fish head. Let's come to Butterland and leave me with the head. Better you leave the tail and the body. But you have to eat the head. The head is where the secret is. It's where all the cleverness is at. Okay? So you can see that I've now marinated my fish. And I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. And then we're going to go to deep fry it. I always prefer to deep fry fish with charcoal. So back to where we were at. Uh, don't worry about the noise or the people talking. Like you know, we are at Motherland restaurant. We are at this restaurant. It's lunch time and the customers are talking. And even right now, as I chop the onions, I'm actually preparing a customer order. I have two customers who have ordered fish right now. And we are just preparing their order. So, uh, the fish is still sticking in the marination for a little bit. Meanwhile, because they want the fish to be wet fry, I'm going to start preparation for the things that I'm going to use to wet fry the fish. Most of the people, when they order fish, uh, they don't like too many spices. They like onions and tomatoes. And that's it. And most of the customers will tell you, please don't use spices. Right now, there are so many diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure. And just by using too many spices, uh, you may get some diseases that you're not planning to do. And I'm here with Christine. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> So Christine has been taking some orders out, we are getting a lot of orders, some of the orders we have to deliver outside the restaurant to people who are at work and the other orders, we have sitting customers who are sitting and they want to eat over here, 
So we don't waste any food at Motherland. Like I told you guys yesterday, we do have Kienyeji chickens. And so any um, any waste, any tomato that has gone bad, any food that has been left by the customer always goes straight to the chicken, the Kienyeji chicken. Okay guys? So this is how we do it. And now as you can see, I'm chopping the tomatoes and I want to prepare it for uh, fish. For me personally, I always love a lot of tomatoes. Maybe this is my weakness. Some of you don't like tomatoes, but when I cook, I like the color red. I guess because I love to be loved. <laughs> and red always stands for love. So I'm going to use quite a few tomatoes because right now I'm going to make stew for two fish together and I'm going to serve them together. I have an order for fish which goes for 300 shillings plus the gali, uh, 350 and then I have another order for fish for 600 shillings plus the gali is 650 guys. And we always give free salsa. When you order the fish you can have um, cabbage or sukuma wiki. That's kale in English. So uh, right now I put the oil and getting hot. So what I'm going to do right now is continue to make the stew while we dry fry the fish fat. If you want to make wet fried fish, you have to dry fry it and then you wet fry it. Okay guys? So, um, it's ready. Okay, so Kristen is telling me that the oil is ready. Uh, as we continue, I want to remind you guys where Motherland Restaurant is located, yeah? We are located in Yukos, Kitengela. So from Kitengela town, you have to take a tuk-tuk if you're using public transport and a lot at OPC Mall next to Shell Petrol Station on your left hand side, okay? So a lot at uh, OPC Mall, cross the road, you will see Bluebird's liquor store. We are right behind Bluebird's liquor store, right next to Sunnet Car Wash, guys. So uh, if you are coming to Motherland and you need directions, you can also call me at 0708-518822 so that you can make an order. We can deliver to you wherever you are at. So right now, let's go ahead and put the onions on the pan. This is the pan that I'm going to use. Christine is meanwhile, she's outside, she's uh, doing the dry fry. You guys know how to dry fry the fish, right? You just put it when the oil is hot, uh, you put the fish and then uh, you dry fry it. Uh, always before you dry fry your fish, make sure that it has been, uh, it's like it's been hung and it's dry from the water, yeah? Because you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, the fish to break into small, small pieces. Okay? When you are dry, when you are dry frying the fish, don't turn it over and over and over and over. Don't turn it like that. You will end up with small, small, one million pieces of, of fish. <laughs> so once the oil is hot and the fish is ready and ready marinated, you put it on one side and you let it dry fast. And then you turn on the other side and let it dry fast. Not only turn the fish once or twice, okay? Don't keep turning and turning and turning. So I've already put here the onions. Personally, I don't like too much cooking oil on my food. I've never liked it. I don't like it. I don't like that when I'm eating, I can see oil all over my hands. So I always try to use very small uh, portions of oil, yeah? I let the food dry. I have my oil here. Ufuta vegetable cooking oil from Bitco Africa Limited. So this is what I like to use and I'm just going to put very small portion because already the oil has been used to dry fry the fish. I just put a little bit, it's not too full, just a little bit of the uh, oil on the container and I'm going to put it over here. As long as the oil can uh, make the onions to, to, to get cooked, I don't like too much oil. Don't use too much oil. You know, oil can sometimes block your heart and it will lead to heart surgery. Some people think that uh, uh, so much oil means so tasty food. No, it doesn't. So much oil means harm to your health. So guys, when you're cooking, always, always try to use as minimum oil as 
possible, okay guys? So right now, as you can watch, I'm putting a little bit of oil. And that's all the oil I need. I don't need any more than that. And even if you saw how I cooked my omena last time, you saw that I, I used the oil to dry fry the omena, and then I drained out all all the oil before proceeding to cook the tomatoes. If you haven't already seen my omena video, uh, I'm gonna attach the link right on this channel. So go ahead and look at the omena video, and you can see how I minimize the use of oil, okay? I'm gonna drop a little bit of garlic and ginger on the food. Garlic and ginger, you know, it cures uh, cold, and it's just always good for you. Always when you're cooking, pay attention to make sure that the onions have not burned and turned black. Don't cook for anybody with black onions. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. If you do that, I'm coming to your kitchen to give you a whoop. Yeah? As soon as the, or the onion starts to turn a little golden brown, just proceed to cook. Right now, I've already put my tomatoes and. I'm now just cooking. Uh, so many people don't know how much salt to use. People will put too much salt or too little salt. How do I use salt? I don't measure my salt, guys. I just approximate with my eyes. Like right now, I just take a little pinch of salt with my hand and I sprinkle it like this. Like that. On my food. Um, so that it's not too little and it's not too much. So right now I'm in the process of trying the fish and we're gonna see the fish right now. We are doing two fish with fry and one has already been fried a while ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it inside here. And then what I do, I start like uh, I'm smashing the tomatoes on top of the fish. This is how I make my way right guys. Yeah. And then I turn it around. And again, I'm just using a small spoon. And it's like I'm smashing the tomatoes on top of the fish. If you notice, I'm not putting any water yet. But I continue to smash the tomatoes. This gives it like a really nice appearance on the outside when you serve it to the customer. And it looks like really delicious. You know, uh, they always say, <laughs> don't judge somebody by the outside. But you know, especially for a man, they go by what they see. <laughs> So it's really important the way that uh, it looks even on the outside. It will actually tell how it's going to taste in a way. So I continue to smash the tomatoes on top of the fish. Uh, at this point I want to check and see if the other fish is ready. And again, I said this is an order for our customers that you can hear them talking, you can hear some noises. We are a busy restaurant. And even making this video is actually fun because I'm actually cooking food that I'm actually going to sell to a customer. And they are actually going to eat it right now. Let me go ahead and check on the, the fish. I'm going to turn the glass off for a second. But you can see how the fish is already looking. Not that I have not put any water on the fish yet. So if you guys can see, Christine has already done the dry fry part of the fish. Isn't it looking yummy? So for those of you guys who don't like the wet fry, this one is dry fry and you can just take it with kachumbari. Okay, we always sell fish at the same price. If it's for 600, it's 600. If it's 1,000, it's 1,000. Whether you want it wet or you want it dry. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put the fish, add the fish there. And now I'm going to start what I was doing. I'm going to take some tomatoes. I'm going to take some tomatoes and I'm just going to go ahead and smash it on the fish. Smash it on the fish. I've not put any water on the fish yet. Smash it 
on the fish. Mash it on the fish. See what I'm doing, guys? Mash it. So guys, uh, I don't know about you, but if I could, I would eat fish every single day of my life. <laughs> Except that it's too expensive, baby. But it's one of the most delicious and the most healthiest food available in the world. So you can see that I'm already and then I'm turning it around, over. And I'm gonna turn this one over as well. And I'm gonna continue to smash the tomatoes on top of the fish. Now, at this point, I'm gonna add some water. You can see already the tomatoes have already been smashed here. Now, the reason for adding water is to absorb the dry fry. So when somebody is eating wet fry fish, they want it wet fry. I'm gonna add some water. Don't put too much water. Most of the customers who eat fish, they don't like too much soup, okay? They always want it to have almost no soup. So as soon as I put the water, now I'm gonna continue what I was doing. I'm going to continue just picking up the soup. Uh, right now what I want to do is just make sure that the fish is actually wet fry and the fish has absorbed the spices and the water and the tomatoes. And I'm just going to continue to go like that as I cook. So just keep watching guys. I will continue doing this until the soup is almost gone out of this food. You see, I didn't put too much water and I didn't put too little water. You're supposed to put just enough water to wet fry the fish. When you're eating wet fried fish, you're not supposed to hear krr, krr, krr. You're supposed to feel that soft, softness of the fish. At the same time, it's not supposed to be so boiled that you feel like you're eating boiled fish. It's just supposed to be wet fried fish. So right now, this is gonna help me to portion the ugalis. Uh, the customers that I have is who are gonna eat uh, four customers. Um, I think three of them are gonna eat. One of them says he's okay, but uh, Christine is cleaning the table and she's going to help me portion the ugalis. The wet fry is still cooking, and I'm gonna continue to pour water onto the fish to make sure it absorbs and it's actually wet fried. Who taught me how to cook? <laughs> I know you guys think I only sing. <laughs> uh, uh, if you saw that I opened the restaurant out of all the businesses, it's it's obvious that I'm very passionate about cooking. I opened this restaurant, Motherland, in honor of my mama. My mama was a professional chef and she never got to cook to be paid. She always cooked for churches and she always cooked for uh, uh, just in the village. Yeah, She loved to cook if there was any occasion, she was always cooking, but she did it for the community. And so when uh, Initially, Jalamo helped me to open this restaurant. I wanted to honor my mom, and that's why uh, I decided on this business. And I hope that whenever mama is down watching on her daughter, I want to make her proud. So that is where the fashion cooking. And guys, don't forget that we are on social media. Our social media handles on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, Share and tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Okay, guys. So um, on YouTube it's just Masi Artist. Make sure you invite somebody else to come and watch. On Instagram, Masi Music. Music 
with the K, okay? Mercy Music, music with the K. On Facebook, uh, just see my page, um, Motherland Bar and Restaurant. If you type Motherland Bar and Restaurant on Facebook, you will find our Facebook page. And on Instagram as well, if you type Motherland Restaurant on Instagram, you're going to see our page as well. At this point, I'm going to turn the fish around just one time. That. Right now, I can feel that it is soft and it has that red fry feel. As I turn it around, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to apply the soup on top of the fish. Right now, the fish is ready. And if you guys remember on my previous Omena video, I told you guys that presentation is the key. Presentation is everything. You can cook so well, but if you don't present it so well, your man can still go somewhere where they present it so well. Yeah, a man goes by what they see. So if you can see, almost all the soup is gone now. Thank you. 